Hi there, welcome back to EDSR FM8 Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed, youtube.com forward slash EDSR Tuts. Today we're going to be remaking this kind of garage bass or deep house bass sound. And you can actually download that patch directly from the fmhtutorials.com website. There's a link appearing on the screen right about now. Let's go directly to the FMH Tutorials website and then download that patch. But we're going to recreate it now. Take off this processing for starters and let's create a new instance of FM8 in here. So let's start off in this ops page and let's just kind of program the sort of general tone of the sound. So I'm going to use five sine waves for this sound. So turn on five of the operators and I'm going to route all of them through the filter. Uh, and we can just push them all up to full volume for now. Turn the filter on, push that to the output, and then let's open up this filter and take this resonance off. So the moment it's just five stacked sine waves. Let's change the ratio of this first sine wave, operator F, uh, to 0.75. Uh, and then operator E, going to go 0.5. And then D, I'm going to go to 2. C, I'm going to keep it 1. And B, I'm going to go 0.5 again. And then I'm going to key sync all of these operators for a nice consistent bass tone. And we're just going to do a little bit of routing in here. I'm going to turn B down a little bit to around 80. And F, I'm going to turn down a bit as well. It's around 30, 33. I'm going to root E into F. And I'm going to root D into E as well. And with that kind of, that bringing D into the sound, turn it off and E. We're, going to, we're getting that kind of gritty tone. So what we're going to do to get that kind of stabby sort of uh, garage kind of style bass, we're going to use the envelopes here. So operators F, B and C, I'm going to link these envelopes uh, and just do a simple kind of just pull the release out a little bit so we're not getting any clip. And then D and E, the operators that we're kind of rooting into F and they're sort of distorting the sound a little bit or kind of adding that frequency modulation to the sound. I'm going to use like very short stabby envelopes for these two. So link operators, the envelopes for operator D and E together and then just pull that sustain right down. So we're getting that nice kind of stab sound. So let's move to this master section now. Make the sound monophonic, give the sound two voices. Push a bit of digital into the sound. That nice crunchy top end. And we could actually transpose the whole synth down by one octave here as well. And let's go back to this ops page now, because what we could do here, operator E, we're rooting all these sounds through the filter at the moment. Root operator E direct to the, to the output, so you still get a bit of E coming through with the filters completely off. And we'll come back to that in a second. Let's set this filter up now then. So with the cutoff frequency, down to zero. Let's move over to this envelope amount and just push this up to around 72. And let's do a similar envelope for the filter as we did for operators D and E. So no sustain. And we can drag this kind of like the length of this envelope out to taste really. So if you want something really short and stabby, or if you want it, Extend that a bit. If you want to introduce a bit of resonance in here, you can start shaping the sound in that way. Push that spread of filter 2 up to full 100, just increases a slight amount of top frequency in there. And you can hear the operator E rooting this directly to the output now. 
just get a little bit more high frequency on the sound because it's just bypassing the filter a little bit. So we can now go ahead and add some effects to the sound. So a bit of shelving EQ, just to boost the kind of high frequency a little bit more and some chorus as well, just to add a bit of fitness to the sound. Push that diffusion up to full, kind of spreads the chorus out a little bit, pull the dry wet down, maybe take some low frequency out of that chorus. Okay, and another thing you could do here, this is to taste, of course, but in this master section, we took the detune off, but if you wanted a really kind of like dirty, garagey bass sound. You could increase the voices to say four, push that detune right up, and maybe even a bit of decay in that filter envelope for a bit of a dirtier sound so let's take the voices down to two and I've got a little bit of processing going on here just I noticed when I was making this sound quite a few resonant frequencies so I just quickly tried to dip some of those those frequencies out a little bit distorted it a bit some overdrive and a bit of channel EQ some more EQ, just boosting some some kind of like frequencies at about 1k. So there's a sound, and then we've got this key sound to complement that kind of bass sound. Let's just give it another spin. You want to go a bit dirty? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. You can, of course, download the patch directly from the fmhtutorials.com website. Whilst you're there, check out the website. We've got loads more stuff on FM8, loads more tutorials covering loads of different sounds, loads of different genres. So, yeah. All right, thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.